So I'm going to show you an OR statement in Excel. So OR, you can look into multiple cells and find information. So equals uh, OR, that's the command. And then I'm going to look into cell A1 equals 1. If A1 equals 1 OR, a2 equals 2. So if it's if there's a 1 or an A1 or 2 and A2, then it's going to give me a true. So if I change this to a 2, it's still true because it's or. If it was the and statement, it would have to both be correct. So if I change A2 to 3, it's going to be false because in order for it to be true, A1 has to be 1 or A2 has to be 2. And if both of them are true, then it's going to be obviously be true. And the fun thing with Excel is you could nest an if statement inside the or statement. So let me, let me change it back. So I'm going to copy the or statement. And I'm going to do an if statement. So equals if. And then instead of retyping the OR statement, that's my OR statement. If this information is true, then Y for yes or N for no. So obviously it's true. And if I change this to a two, it's gonna still be true. But if I changed it A2 to a 3, the R statement is now false. So it's going to change that if statement to an N. And you can do a lot of fun things with OR statements and AND statements inside spreadsheets to do calculations to figure things out. Accountants use it pretty often for taxes and various people in finance as well. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions or comments on OR statements.